Hi everybody you're listening to the Khan Dan podcast by the You podcast team a bi-weekly podcast revisiting the movies of Aamir Khan, Salman Khan and Shah Rukh Khan. Every show we pick a random year from three decades of collectively 300 films the Khans have done and let our listeners vote which movie we should talk about. So it's entirely up to you. Pick a team, make a vote, take us down nostalgia lane, punish us or make us reassess a movie we dismissed. We love the Khans most of us sometimes and we would love for you all to be part of our kanban because when it comes to the cons in bollywood nothing, nothing else, else really, really matters. matters so pulkit man welcome to the show pulkit kocher we you are you are a content creator basically yes. but you are also like a you have a huge following man it's like impressive like coming from a podcast <laughs> looking at the numbers you have on instagram and think is like wow this is so cool and uh, we're so happy to have you on the on the on the podcast man thank you so much it has only grown in uh, the lockdown i guess <laughs> because i've been creating a lot of yeah. content in the lockdown so that's how mm-hmm. I, i was damn productive i restarted my own 5 year old youtube <laughs> channel in the lockdown because i was like kya kare Which some of the <laughs> nice. <laughs> no, so it's really cool. So tell us a bit. Tell the people a bit about yourself. Where can they find you? What do you? What What is the kind of content you create? Okay, so basically, I work in this company called Pocket Aces, which has many sister channels, and the most famous one is Filter Copy and Dice. So I do marketing for all the web series and dice. Like most of you guys must have heard about Little Things, if not any other web series. Mm-hmm. Little things with yeah. the folks. Operation Ambivious this year, and most of the shows are light-hearted and like slice of life shows. Uske alawa, in filter copy, they make sh- short sketches on YouTube, like five minutes, six minutes sketches, listicle yeah. types and all. And for their Instagram, I make videos which I write myself, I act, I direct, I edit. It's like one minute sketches I do for them. And with with reels coming mm-hmm. on Instagram, I've been making a lot of reels, which is fifteen second sketches. And recently, I've even made like seven, eight, seven to eight second sketches. So, इस तरह से wow. I'm a content creator. हाँ जी. So I I started with East India Comedy, which was a comedy collective with all the stand-up comedians. I used to do social media for them. And before that, मुझे पता नहीं था मुझे memes बनाने के पैसे मिल सकते हैं. No, because I wanted to say, you know, like I've seen your content around and everything, and I just want to say, like, hats off to you, yar. Like, uh, it's tough. Like, we've yeah. talked, you know, like about like uh, making like short uh, content and stuff. Like, it's hard, yar. Like, what you do. Um, so it's like uh, really hats off. It's and it's funny and it's good. Like, it's not like yeah. half the like you know half the stuff that we see around yeah. also. It's like actually yeah. good stuff. So, uh, yeah, hats off to Thank you. Thank you yaar. so much. Thank you so much. No, I, I was yeah. I was also telling Pulkit when we were talking that uh, I feel so old looking at his content. You know, <laughs> like it's such a it's such a succinct idea in seven to ten seconds where it, like we talk for two hours and I we still know. don't get to a point, right? Like, what is the point? Like, we're, <laughs> you know, it's really cool. Um, so I'm really happy connect we connected. And where what is your? How can people find your work? What is the URL or what is the what is the Instagram page? My Instagram is pretty simple. My name only P U L K I T K O C H A R. Pulkit Kocher. And uske bio me apko mere YouTube ka link mil jayega. And uske fir to mil hi jata hai baaki sab log. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, it's That's it's your good. calling card. Yeah. And yeah. apart from yeah. this is my calling card. <laughs> and apart from all of this, I'm a big, big Bollywood fan. Even in my content, yeah. all the videos have Bollywood references. If not in video, must in caption mm-hmm. or a comment. So yeah. <laughs> I'm really passionate about yeah, Bollywood. Uh, like uh, I've been warned by my bosses that this ha- week, a week, I have to do Bollywood. Not to do. Uske alawa kaun? Like there was a time in so East India comedy was about news comedy, right? Uh, East India comedy was news yeah. topical trending, or even topics you like people won't touch. But I beach me Bollywood touch dal deta tha, and they were like, "Pulkit, please yeah. <laughs> control kar." <laughs> <laughs> Do you, do you have that on a T-shirt? <laughs> What is <laughs> India? Bollywood's alive. News? What is it? Bollywood is everywhere. 
Yeah. Do they have that on a t-shirt? Like in East India comedy, do they have on that on a t-shirt? Pulkit, please. <laughs> <laughs> no, but really cool. And uh, we, we love your stuff. And, I, you know, other people should check it out for sure. And you also picked out this week's movie that we're going to review. And when you gave your pick, I knew, yeah, na banda hai. You know, so which movie did you pick? <laughs> so, movie of this week is Maine Pyaar Kyun Kya. <laughs> uh, okay, before you guys jump on like, aisa, ye movie hi kyun and all. So, basically, recently, uh, hama, jab se mein gharao yaan pe cable hai. So, cable pe na, there's a channel which runs the same movie through the day. Like, jab khatam ho jati hai dubara. And there are five channels. So, one movie runs on all five channels. And <laughs> one day, Maine Pyaar Kyun Kya was... <laughs> For whole day. So at any point of time, you can watch any scene of the movie. Because <laughs> one of the channels would have... <laughs> so one of the channels would have the climax playing. One of the channels would have the song playing. <laughs> and uh, I have a colleague and we have this... Our chats are full of the, the movie references and especially with this movie. So yeah, I think this is one of the underrated David Dhawan movies. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's probably the better way to watch this movie is that climax, kahin, shuruat, kahin, gaane, kahin, you, know? you just mix it Doesn't up. Doesn't matter. And I think that might, yeah, yeah, you make it like a Christopher Nolan movie. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Jumble up the narration. <laughs> you know, in advertising, like you have that term called blanket marketing, right? Where you have the same ad playing across all the channels. So it yeah. doesn't matter yeah. if you change the channel and you're bombarded <laughs> with that product. <laughs> After so many years, David Devon wouldn't have even thought about it to have the movie play across five channels in different timelines <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Chalo, but that uh, is going to be on the next episode this episode we're going to be talking about a lot of other stuff that's happening uh, so let's let's get into it a little bit let's let's start with this um, I, I mean this is a bit off topic for us but i just wanted to quickly talk about it because you know, with the lockdown that's happened the whole year and everything being kind of in a sit situation, which, you know, leads us from what, what, uh, Amrita was saying. Um, there's been a lot of an announcement on the Hollywood side of things. Um, with HBO Max announcing. So HBO Max is a, you know, the big service from HBO and now owned by Warner, uh, Warner Studios, I think in the US and AT&T, um, that they're going to be delivering 17 of their big slate releases. Day in, uh, day in theater, day in streaming, same day for 30 days with a 30 day window. And uh, it's going to be movies like, you know, Wonder Woman, uh, the second Wonder Woman, Matrix 4 is going to be in there. Uh, um, a, a, a lot of other movies that people were really, really looking forward to. I They're think just Dune land. is also in there, right? Yes, Dune. Um, and also the follow up to Crazy Rich Asians. I think it's called In the Heights or Up in the Heights, something like that. John Chu's new movie. Wow. So a lot of movies that were kind of you know, people we're looking forward to are just going to be dropping on thing, on thing. And then also Disney announced their slate of original content. And a lot of it is that they're going to be also focusing on streaming. So a lot of these shows that they've been working on, like, you know, Loki and uh, Winter Soldier and all these other guys and a lot of a lot of uh, things will just be landing on the streaming service yeah and then on the our end we have obviously there's a deal between hotstar and disney so there's going to be a lot of marvel properties coming to hotstar disney but it's kind of in in bollywood it's kind of like in they don't know where to kind of go it seems that a lot of releases that were people were thinking might get released on streaming like you know Surya Vanshi and uh, even there was talk of one of the Salman Khan movies Radhe that's already kind of like done would maybe end up on uh, streaming but none of that's happened we're basically getting b-grade content I would say like Lakshmi bomb um, you know so nothing has really worked um, so it, it just kind of like wanted to see what you guys thought of that like you know what are your thoughts about those announcements does it make you happy does it not make you happy because obviously I don't think even if cinema is open um, you know nobody's really rushing to go to the cinema at least I'm not um, but I don't know what the situation is in India, for example. Uh, uh, Pulkit, would you would you go to the cinema like if it opens up in the next few weeks? 
So I think it's already uh, open, right? Pulte? Yeah, it has it has opened with social distancing in Bhatinda, but uh, mm-hmm. nothing has like pulled me to theaters yet. So I won't go for anything. For example, I wanted to go for Tenet, but nobody is ready to go with me. <laughs> so that's kind of sad. Yeah. Uske uh, <clears throat> alawa, uh, the thing you were talking about, ki the Salman Khan movie is coming on the OTT and all. I saw this interview of uh, Nasiruddin Shah with Anupama Chopra where he said ki I don't think the you know an OTT platform would get that much of a like attention if Salman Khan movie drops on it because. The, the the environment of the theater plays a big role in a Salman Khan movie success right like uh, nobody yeah. would be whistling watching amazon prime at home so uh, even in even in bombay i go to watch Salman only asim only in uh, only asim <laughs> only will asim. do that <laughs> as, asim we, we talked we about it for about the kuli number 1 kuli number 1 trailer right <laughs> <laughs> So unless yeah, you have a watch correct. party, uh, like uh, <laughs> yeah. So yeah, he was talking about that, and like even even in Bombay, I go to watch a Salman Khan movie only in Gaiety Theater, you know, like the old theater, which has only seats and seats are left. Like sasti ticket, so that more people come, or like it's more like a theater. So I don't think it's going to be fun anymore. So I don't think how it's going to play, and especially with Marvel movies, like you want to watch the, those movies in theaters. So I'm. quite of like thoda sa main sad hu is cheez ko leke ki ott pe dekhni padi hmm Yeah, for yeah. sure. Like uh, when we like uh, watching Avengers: Infinity War and Endgame, I cannot, you know, describe the experience that I had at the IMAX screens, where where it was full with fans and every single thing that was unraveled at the same time. Everybody was emoting the way they were, you know, um, when all the things that happened. And uh, you don't get that with a solitary home experience, no matter how big your TV screen in the living room is. um the same with like govinda movies salman movies or in that in this case kuli number 1 you know that's coming probably in the next couple of weeks um yeah yeah no also in terms of revenue wise right like yeah. um like these may, movies like especially like you know like the hollywood ones we're talking about these some would make a billion dollars right yeah. easily and there's no way you can recoup that cost from an ott platform you know like just like how many 5 dollar subscriptions do you need to sell to get to a billion dollars right it just the maths doesn't work so it's it's but then again like how long can you keep these movies on a shelf you know there's a lot of people waiting for them and also i don't i mean i'm running out of content to watch so i'm kind of excited i mean i watched durga mati yesterday because there was nothing else to watch right so this is the situation i'm in but uh, what what do you think amrita are you are you excited because i don't think you're going to the theater anytime soon right oh hell no <laughs> i'm not going anywhere yeah. for like the next year um no i think this is like there's like multiple things at play i think um one is that the theater uh, like the studios are basically the american studios are basically turning to conglomerates and they are mm. um you know they're consolidating and they're becoming like studios of old basically and they're trying to change the rules of the game which is what uh caught my attention was like christopher nolan was basically up in arms like immediately yeah. after Yeah. Uh, Warner Brothers said that they were going to uh, release everything on HBO Max, and it was you know like Nolan can be uh, it can be a bit dramatic, you know. So he mm-hmm. started off by saying that you know he uh, like he and the other directors weren't um, in the business of making content for the worst streaming service <laughs> in the yeah. United States, <laughs> <laughs> and like obviously that became the story. But actually, and then of course the studio fired back and said uh, we made the decision because Tenet underperformed, <laughs> and they made it sound like. he basically delivered a flop uh, as if you know like you know like if it had been a normal year then it would not have been a flop you know the fanboys alone would have carried it over the you know uh, the success mark but um later on like nolan actually sat down and like gave a thoughtful reply um and the thing with that i appreciate about british um directors and actors not all of them but the ones that come from a working class um as compared to say indian ones or definitely the american ones is that they have a lot of class solidarity and they talk about 
workers below the line, which is where Nolan was coming from. But, you know, yeah. in the initial burst of emotion, like that wasn't very clear. Um, but he is basically talking about how these decisions are going to affect the film industry, uh, people who are working class. So not the Ben Afflecks and the George Clooney's and the Brad Pitt's, but like people who have to work you know, uh, through the union, basically, you know, there are a bunch of freelancers who are collaborating. And uh, even in India, wherever you go, you know, it's like the same story. These are not people who are guaranteed any kind of living. But in Hollywood, what they have is a system of what they call residuals, which is that, you know, you make your content, and then the content plays in the theaters, and you get paid for it. And then uh, later on, when it gets on on TV and on streaming, and it was a huge thing a few years ago, you know, when Netflix became a big thing, where people were like the unions really went to bat about like what it means to have all these uh, all these different movies on streaming platforms. Um, and I don't want to like I I don't want to paraphrase because I think Nolan explains it way better than I can. So I'm just going to direct all of you to. Uh, look up his to his uh, interview because it was a really good one and he really explained that um, but basically it's a question of how these studios are trying to basically screw over the people who are working below the line because they will be out of residuals checks and that means that they can't afford to keep working in the longer term you know um, and you're yeah. basically going to start cycling through these people and you're basically going to lose a lot of people who are trained, who are experienced um, and whose rights are protected by these unions who are going to go out of business. So it's a very complicated issue. And I think it's going to be a lot. Um, it's a lot more complicated than saying that, you know, um, right now everything is. Uh, going to go on streaming because we don't have another option, which is true. We don't have another option. Um, I don't want people to go into the into the theaters in the meantime. But you know, like people like us, for like we we enjoy being in a theater too. You know, like we like uh, I think like a lot of people when they hear really successful directors talk about the movie going experience and everything, uh, it sounds like you know a bunch of wankers talking about nonsense you know like oh the movie going experience theater mein jayenge, yeah. like you know like it I, I think stupid. it's like kind of phrased in a way or presented in a way like it's very film bro language yeah right? exactly it sounds pretentious and stupid but it's not like you know i was just listening to pulkit talk and i was talk- listening to like sujoy talk and it's it's a real emotion that people who actually enjoy movies will all understand, you know, like, um, like we are talking about Salman Ki movies, you know, and we'll talk about India in particular, because we are a Bollywood podcast. Um, like the Salman movies, like what Pulkit was saying about going to Gaiti, you know, and like Sasti ticket, the Sasti ticket in India and a Sasti ticket in the UK or the US are like worlds apart, you know? Yeah. Uh, like a uh, Pulkit, I, I don't know, like, what's a going rate right, right now for a Sasti ticket in Bombay? I I think 70 to 80. Like if you wanted like a Gandhi class. Uh, Sorry? 70 to, 70 to 80 rupees. Yeah. So that's like a dollar. Yeah. Whereas like a multiplex uh, ticket in that same city will be around like 800. Bloody hell. <laughs> that's a big jump. I didn't know that. Exactly. Yeah. So when like a, you know, like you have like a, one of your giant auditoriums and like people buying the Sasti ticket and like getting out there. And I, uh, like, like the ticket that, you know, like Pulkit is talking about is in a metro like Bombay, where the standards of living are, like the cost of living is like much higher. If you come to a place like, you know, like Cochin or Bhatinda or something, it'll be half that. It'll be like, you know, 40, 50 rupees. Um, so you have like people who are like, you know, a lot of people talk about like how Govinda and Salman are making movies for auto drivers and everything. But these are people who live and die based on how much they make per day. So for them, like 40, 50 rupees is a huge amount of money, you know, and they are going to spend that to go watch these movies, not once, but maybe like twice, thrice. Like, you know, we laugh quite a bit and we, you know, we, we make that joke, like, man, if these part they hear. But when a Salman Khan fan says, you know, like one of these Sasti Ticket Valley fans says that 
they've seen it like 20 times it hits different you know yeah which is why salman you know he's so beholden to his fans because he understands what they have invested in him so it's a it's an emotional issue it's a financial issue it's very complicated and there are things that are taking place not just in india but also in the united states um and in the uk and it's all like very complicated and i don't know how this is all going to play out but it's going to be you know it's going to be interesting times i think i think uh, i think we've um, we've given up a lot this year right and uh, yeah. and i think it's going to take a longer time until we can you know get back a semblance of the life we used to have before this happened so i think i don't i mean i don't even see next year and maybe this is just december blues you know but i don't think things are going to be solved anytime quickly you know i don't see another even next summer being safe to travel and go to the cinema or grand gatherings i think a lot has changed and uh, i think yeah that's kind of just the feeling we'll have to you know be patient with that we will not be getting back quite so soon but on another note i have to also say if you are launching a a platform like disney just did this year or you know hbo max is doing now if you are combating you know netflix who's an established player and uh, amazon prime that has just so much money this is a really good way to do it right yeah. like we we have these movies like i signed up to hbo max because of this right and i was like It, it, the the platform was around for a while hbo was there and you know they had a uh, curb your enthusiasm they had game of thrones they had succession but none of that was a reason for me to get the platform but when they announced wonder woman is there i'm like i'm there i'm getting it you know so smart move on that on that front at least you know so yeah it's a Same. it's a complicated situation yeah yeah uh, so i was saying uh, in a similar way uh, they have just announced like I think ten Marvel movies that would be coming soon on Disney Hotstar, Hotstar in India. So I have this mm. Hotstar VIP, which only has Hindi movies. But I'm thinking to upgrade it just for those movies <laughs> to premium. So Sujoy, so you what, what, any final thoughts from your end? What do you think about it? Are you happy? Yeah, I mean that's the way to go for it, I guess. You know, ये भी है, वो भी है. देखो कितना content है मेरे पास. Yeah, yeah. Plus, we're not going anywhere, you know. We've, yeah, uh, I, I, and also it kind of creates a competition now. Netflix and Amazon, who have been playing cozy by mm-hmm. making you know extraction and really bottom bargain basement kind of movies yes. uh, um, and Christmas DVD specials kind of movies. they have to up their game as well by producing yeah. content and i i guess obviously that there is good content like we will be talking about ak versus ak i suppose and and the white tiger that's coming out in january but uh they can't just rely on making you know quote unquote indie content they have to make the blockbuster investments as well uh yeah. otherwise the eyeballs are going to obviously go to disney hotstar a uh, disney or disney hotstar and hbo max now Yeah I I I think one of the problems is also and I think this kind of you know speaks to what Amrita was saying about Nolan's uh, me- uh comments about it that a lot of it was just badly communicated to you know the filmmakers for example you know like, Oh yeah, uh, yeah yeah it was like a uh, half an hour before the actual announcement yeah. that yeah. Uh, Warner Brothers was about to make they you know sort of uh as a courtesy let them know rather than have a discussion with them because this is a major thing and yeah. nolan is not like anurag kashyap is to like dharma you know the nolan yeah. is the top billing director who's been making like the batman trilogy inception all the big nolan movies have been warner brothers movies and yeah. and, and it must have felt like a betrayal you know Yeah, and I think it's going to hurt future uh, relationships with yeah, Warner Brothers which is such a long-standing studio and has, you know, treated a lot of filmmakers very respectfully and I think that's going to be like I, I was even reading about uh, John Chu for example who made Crazy Rich Asians he was actually offered by Netflix a lot of money to get his movie on Netflix mm. and he decided to go with Warner Brothers because he was going to get a theatrical release and now The movie has been sold to HBO Max and 
he's going to get less money than he was going to get on Netflix. So it's like, wow, like that's just oh, like, yeah, you know. Already a, a lawsuit actually from, um, I forget which movie, but. Uh, Legendary, from Legendary, yeah, from Legendary Pictures. Legendary, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Yeah, I think they they're doing uh, King Kong versus Godzilla, which will also be landing on HBO Max. Oh, yeah. And again, they were gonna get money and stuff like that. So and it's been badly communicated. But also, like, how much money does Netflix have? Because I was reading the details of that deal, and they were going to offer them like two hundred and twenty-five million dollars for that Godzilla movie, and I was just like, what? Yeah, I should yeah. make movies. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm totally into it, man. It's a good idea. <laughs> Otherwise, I was thinking, you know, we just like, we act ourselves in the movie and we just do that face swap ad uh, app and we put, you know, Salman's face on <laughs> mine and Katrina's ca- face on <laughs> Sujoy and we can do it that way, right? Prime yeah, that, that I think that would work. Uh, I think that would work. Uh, <laughs> I was about to make a very offensive joke, but never mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're we're cutting out our offensive jokes. We're trying our best. Um, but yeah, um, speaking of something that was terribly, terribly communicated and marketed, uh, Salman Khan <laughs> decided he dressed up as a Sardar, Sardar for yeah. his new movie that's coming out. And it could not be the worst possible timing. And but, I think but, we need... <laughs> Asim, when you said, speaking of bad marketing and bad timing, I thought, where is he going with this? There are so many things that are currently yeah. that it's fit the bill. Weird. I think I want to I wanna put in a clip from um, our, our friend Nim, who's, I'm, I'm sure we'll get her on the show soon. This was just badly managed on our end. And I wanted to like have this discussion with her because she's been very passionate about this thing so i'm just gonna put a clip in which gives context to what you know what's going on hey guys it's nimrit aka maple brownie dropping in with a voice note regarding a bollywood pr stunt that miserably failed and i called out on twitter this week bhai john aka salman khan decided two days ago to have his first look for his next movie anthem by mahesh Manjaker, leaked by his brother-in-law ayush lo and behold bhai john is dressed up as a Punjabi Sardar. Now, for the most part, there's a chunk of people out there that would be over the moon seeing him in such a route. However, the timing of this leak could not have been worse. For those unaware, currently there's a large protest, and by large, estimates are about 250 million farmers across India are protesting in Delhi regarding recent agriculture bills passed. These bills were passed in September without consultation of the farmers. And over the last three months, movement has built with the protesting, as basically this puts small farmers at risk and gives big corporations a step up in this area. While protesting has been across India, farmers from Punjab decided to march to Delhi to raise their voices. This is just a nutshell of what's happening. There are great resources to read up on using the hashtags Farmers Protest and I Stand With Farmers. And on Instagram, Sick Expo has been wonderful in aggregating information there. But here's the deal. Bollywood has cultivated a very deep relationship over the years with Punjab. The language, the dance, the music, and food. In movies these days, most of the albums have not only a token Punjabi Bhangra song, they've also taken current hit songs from Punjab and the Punjabi diaspora and Bollywoodized it to sell it to the masses. Everyone's danced at some point or other to Mandiyato Bachke Rehi and Morni in the past year. And not to mention how they destroyed Long Lachi with Dulsi Kumar's voice. We've all heard Sunny Dil call himself Punjab da Putter, Akshay Kumar be all like Singh is King, and remember DDLJ's famous scene in the Sarsun de Khet? But when the livelihoods of those that support Bollywood wholeheartedly over the years were affected, a lot of local people were calling on the big actors, especially Sunny Deol and Akshay Kumar, to speak up on their behalf and help amplify their voices. To date, Pritesh Deshmukh, Priyanka Chopra, Tapsi Pannu, Diljit Dasanjh, and a few others have been brave enough to add their voices to the protest. The silence of the biggest stars that have benefited from the culture of Punjab, which heavily has its roots in farming, has been deafening. And then to see Salman Khan's first look come out right in the mix of this was super disheartening and totally tone deaf. 
My belief is that you don't have to be right at the front of the protest to make a difference. But to let the farmers even know that their voices matter, their lives and livelihoods matter, that small show of support from their favorite actors would give them a huge moral boost. Currently, Sunny has turned off his ability to tag him on Instagram. Akshay Kumar has disappeared from the net, unless it's regarding his wife. And Salman Khan released this picture. Shah Rukh Khan, too, has been very quiet these days. The protests are still going strong, and there's gathering strength across states, religions, and groups. And if certain actors continue to be silent, no doubt there's going to be a reckoning of sorts on the way. I encourage you to research and read up on the farmers' protest, as even Facebook and Google stand to benefit from these bills. Thanks, guys, and looking forward to chatting with you guys soon. So I think, I mean, I think Nim really gives a good, you know, explanation about what's going on. Because I'll be honest, I shut down a little bit about what's going on in India because I honestly cannot keep up with your country, man. Like, it's like (laughs) way too much shit going on. So, um... (laughs) Uh, I mean, uh, what, haven't you did, heard about Boris? He says it's all Pakistan. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, you should pay attention. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when Boris said you know, Pakistan should sort it out, I was like, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> We're involved Every in this day. too. So, but yeah. Every day I wake up and I open Twitter to see what is being boycotted today. So because if you look at the <laughs> trends in India. Yesterday they were boycotting Make My Trip and Aaj Subha bhi kuch tha, it's not there, but the refresh karo, there will be something will get There's boycotted. like the two factions, right? Hashtag I stand with, I stand with XYZ yeah. or boycott XYZ. And yeah. Uh, yeah, anyway. But I think also with the farmers, we also need to add in the spat that happened between Kangana Ranaut and uh, Diljit Dosan. Yeah. Lot, a lot happened. Like, a lot of people are stuck at home with a phone in their hand and they're very, very annoyed about shit. So... No, the, the thing is, like, you know, this is probably the best Big Brother season ever. <laughs> and, it, <laughs> and it is playing on Twitter. And it's not just celebrities who became celebrities for being on Big Brother, but these are genuine, like, top bill celebrities Diljit Dosan versus no. Kangana Ranaut no but I just want to say like who takes pangas with Punjabis like what is wrong <laughs> with like <laughs> and half as people. you know when I a- 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 apparently <laughs> apparently Himachali people <laughs> Himachali people so uh, I saw uh. this meme so his, his recent song is ki very jatta very nalvi bitha bolda so basically which means ki <laughs> जो पंजाबी होते हैं वो तो इवन दुश्मनों से भी प्यार से बात करते हैं सो कंगना थॉट दैट एंड वेंट टू वेंट इनटू द फाइट एंड इट्स लाइक इट बैकफायर्ड सो बैड या एंड द फनीएस्ट थिंग वाज ही वाज टाइपिंग इन पंजाबी लाइक ऐसी पंजाबी जो मुझे भी नहीं समझ आ रही लाइक आई एम फ्रॉम <laughs> it was amazing. It was amazing. <laughs> and he was writing in Punjabi like phonetics in in English and uh, and people were like dictionary de do mujhe koi. If anyone wants anything translated please message me CC Kangana. <laughs> so CC <laughs> Kangana. <laughs> no but like there were all these memes about like how like the Indian state has been trying to teach Tamilians uh, Hindi for 70 years and then in like 24 hours Tamilians learn Punjabi <laughs> like overnight <laughs> thanks to the teeth um no but like i uh like i i uh like you know i saw nem uh post her twitter thread first and then she was talking about it on instagram as well um and you know the it's we've talked about this for i think the past year you know we've had like all the anti-caa protests uh last year around this time um and then we've had the farmer protests this time and um all last year, people were asking, you know, like, why isn't anybody from Bollywood speaking out? And like, literally, Deepika showed up one day, one evening, and she didn't even say anything. She just showed up at a protest and everybody was like, oh, my God, goddess, um, because yeah. everybody was that <laughs> silent, you know. And yeah. then yeah. when this protest happened and we saw all the Punjabi uh, celebrities 
like all of them you know yeah, just yeah. coming out and like stand like sitting shoulder to shoulder with these people and like not just saying that they uh, they supported these people and like putting out you know uh like statements of support but actually standing and like being with them shoulder to shoulder that was just incredibly you know ek to it was like i feel like every punjabi should be proud because like that is called solidarity that is amazing um but the other thing is that it just made you realize all the more like the amount of you know like fuddus that work in bollywood you know like who just cannot and um uh, i think nim is absolutely on point when she talks about like how akshay kumar talks about like punjabi this punjabi that everything is punjabi punjabi and then <laughs> he, yeah. he can't even be bothered like he goes to up and like tries to talk about how he's setting up a new bollywood in noida of all places and i'm just like kya kar rahe ho like what is what is wrong with you and then salman who can't be bothered to say anything is now suddenly wearing like you know a pagri and like showing up like what was he thinking ye kya hai you know like if you want to keep quiet you keep quiet but at least don't try to capitalize on people if you are not even going to stand up for them like i absolutely understand why a lot of punjabis are so mad about it yeah anyway i i i was uh, I, I, i two things i thought about when it happened i was like this is a this is terrible but b is like it was funny because salman has been like the most pro farmer person of all <laughs> like he's like yeah. go to his instagram page and he's like on tractor he's like in like the mud the you know like every like he's been farming <laughs> the whole year <laughs> and then <laughs> when when he needs to like say something he says like main kheton mein hu abhi like maine abhi abhi fresh dio lagaya hai yeah <laughs> so it's, it's it's funny because in a way he he was ahead of the curve because he was like supporting farmers back in july so he was like you know yeah before they needed yeah before anybody needed the support he was there and now when they needed he's like yeah now nah, i'm busy <laughs> you know so that was kind of funny but uh, I think it's what what was really heartening to see with the Punjab farmers um um manifestations going on how how much unity there was between the different religions too um you know yeah like and I think when the previous uh, things were happening um the Shine Bag uh, uh, protests and stuff like that it, it it got divided very much easily into muslims versus ev- india almost right yeah and this time they knew that this is what they're going to be playing and they it felt like preemptively the idea of unity was there from the start you know and I, that was a very heartening to see because that's almost something we never see in india at least anymore and it felt like the the political powers they had no counter argument for it you know like they could not they could not play the card that they usually play because they came in united whereas shahin bag i feel it got very quickly us versus them which happens a lot it seems in india but right? but, but they are still playing that game right they're like on on the whole, the entire national mm-hmm. media or, or the most of what we call as godi media or you know who are uh, you know in bed with the bjp government are you know all playing like the farmers are being misled the farmers are pro khalistani they are separatists and then there are the the bjp it cell which are putting fake images in social media and pushing propaganda on whatsapp and calling them tukre tukre gang and anti nationals and such uh, how are the farmers becoming anti national now you know and and it's really sickening even how it got to this point when the the parliament itself passed the bill without any due procedure it shut down the opposition and even you know we have in 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 the uk we have the house of commons and house of lords and everything is broadcasted live when a bill is being passed on on the tv and we have something similar in india with the rajya sabha tv they actually when the bill was passed when the opposition was shouting that the the bill cannot be passed with a a voice vote when they were op- opposing it the constitution allows that the voice would be negated and a further voting procedure has to be passed and they muted that entire section on the broadcast it is mm. insane how uh, yeah uh, i've been absolutely infuriated about this um 
and and uh, rightly so the pro- the farmers protest should carry on you know the, they have not been met their justice and um of course the responsibility of those who have uh, a prominent you know social presence um who have uh, you know an amount uh, um, an immense amount of influence on on us on a lot of people like the people like the bollywood stars obviously they are quite afraid of how things are played in the media now and um i i get to see that obviously uh, we have we've seen you know um uh, how how even people played against deepika supporting the shine bar protest so I, I do get yeah. that, but yeah, Deepika. I mean, Deepika. A lot of people on Instagram are like, you, you know, Twitter goddess, goddess. But she paid the price, man. Yeah. yeah. Like you know, panga flop yeah. big time. You know, one chalang, like one chalang. In, uh, chapak. Uh, chapak. Sorry, yeah, panga. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, panga chapak was flop. something else. <laughs> yeah. You went to extreme. Yeah. No, that flop big time, and also the fact is that you know she's been quiet since then. Like you know, remember yeah. like how people were chasing her car and all that kind of thing that was happening. Yeah. It was insane. Yeah. Even. Even our NCB was targeting her yeah. specifically. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and it was somewhere connected. We all know, and 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 that just after you know people want to cut her nose off and all that kind of stuff that was happening there. Cut the her throat before. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Padmavat. Padmavat, yeah. 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 Padmavat. yeah. I mean, it is sad, you know. Like, there's. Uh, I mean, I understand like the Akshay anger and Sunny Devil anger. Um, you know, especially because like Sunny Devil is he's part of the BJP, right? Like the government that's in power. Yeah. Yeah. And then he makes like, I support the farmers, but I also support the BJP. It's like, dude, <laughs> like talk about having your cake and eating it. Like that's that's not how it works. But uh I mean, I don't know. I, I, I don't know about the Khans. I mean, like I was telling Nim, you know, they didn't stand up for Shaheen Bagh, right? They were not there. And they might be doing something on the background supporting these people. There were some rumors about they're sending money or they're helping kids and this and that. And they might be doing this. But they definitely don't have the balls to stand up. But I also feel like the government in power is wants them to stand up. So yeah. then they can create the distraction by you know yeah. othering these people so of it's course. kind of a, a tough balance to play but yeah i mean but like, i mean uh, uh, amir's hands are already burnt right with yeah. the whole narmada everybody man yeah. all of them so, uh, all of even, them yeah, yeah even but, sharuk during dilwale mm-hmm. dilwale didn't release in whole of rajasthan i guess yeah, yeah. wow but like Amrita, with yeah. akshay like he has nothing to lose you know what i mean yeah He's, like he's already lost Lakshmi. <laughs> like, like, he's not even like an Indian, yeah. Like if everything like that out, he can just take his money and f- off to like Canada. Canada, like, Kumar, uh, yeah. He can go live in Canada with like you know on his ranch or whatever, you know, like Canadian man ke jee. Like what is his problem? He yeah. can he can more make those Punjabi NRI movies with her Punjabi. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> There is are... Canada me Bollywood bana le. So I got uh, <clears throat> I, I'm just going to wrap this up with um, um uh, a mail that I then got from Nim as a kind of a conclusion because honestly I don't think we know as much as we need to be talking about this for 20 minutes I think you know yeah. we we just basically you know in a way watching it by uh, on Twitter and eating popcorn so I don't I I feel you know I I'm not affected by it I feel obviously sad for the people that this is happening to but that's why I want to read from uh, Nim who is Punjabi and it kind of you know is much closer to her so she says i do understand for those from a muslim background sk srk amir it's harder to speak up because they too have a minority label on their backs right now and they're trying so hard to not take any missteps but akshay and sunny have no excuse right. on and honestly group by group minority labels people from different background are being affected by the current status to such levels that if no one speaks up for any of them pretty soon there's not going to be anybody left to speak for Exactly. So yeah, I I agree with Nim's sentiment, and I agree with I understand her anger completely. Um, I think uh, a lot of it got directed at Salman because again, Salman has a tendency to have terrible timing and stuff like that. But um, yeah, like there are no heroes in Bollywood, you know, there are no, and yeah. there's definitely some in the Punjabi film industry. It's heartening to see. that you know these people are standing up for their rights so i can only applaud them you know let's move on no let's move on to what we can talk about which is which is movies right this is something we allegedly know about and we can talk about so although you know not everybody maybe agrees on that um a few trailers dropped this week 
well one trailer dropped i guess um ak versus ak ak, yeah. AK versus ak, AK. Uh, my question is for anurag sir how can we make it big into the industry like you you can't and unless your surname is kapoor <laughs> Netflix. It stars yeah. um, Anurag Kashyap and Anil Kapoor, and it's directed by Vikram Motwani, right? Vikram yeah. Aditya Motwani. Yeah. yeah. I-, I thought it was directed by Anurag Kashyap, so I'm in a way I'm happy it isn't. Um, but what did you think? Uh, um, let's go to uh, Sujoy, man. What did you think of the trailer when it dropped? Yeah, I think uh, even before the trailer dropped, there was that you know whole Twitter spat, <laughs> and people already pointed out like, "Oh, this is all manufactured." AK versus AK is dropping soon on Netflix, and they're just trying to make a buzz out of it. But uh, the trailer itself was surprisingly well made. I, I think I, I it may it aroused my um, curiosity, and I definitely want to check it out. It's kind of. Uh, plays to the strengths of that genre and uh, these are established names especially i'm looking forward to watching anil kapoor play anil kapoor an exaggerated version and yeah. sonam kapoor being uh, muted throughout the movie that's a plus for me <laughs> 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 and so somebody tweeted like uh, if <laughs> somebody tweeted it's a very very mean tweet but somebody t- tweeted saying uh, it is only justified that if you are only and only anil kapoor that you chase after sonam kapoor to save her <laughs> yeah <laughs> I, i was like you know like she's she's gotten kidnapped her uska husband ghar pe baitha you know like he's like la la it's good it's okay <laughs> it's like <laughs> bhai ghar pe hai like a 15 year old uh, yeah, bhai ghar pe husband ghar pe sirf baap ko tension hai you know like <laughs> uh, uh, but i i guess i'm i'm also like quite um happy that vikram aditya motwani is directing it because I, i i like his kind of um craft in this yeah. genre and um yeah co- uh, the collaboration with anurag kashyap already uh, like is a is a um, plus point uh, for for this movie i i think the trailer was really well made and i'm looking forward to watching it mm-hmm. what did you think pulkit so uh, those are these ke shuru mein i think they announced all the movies with the summaries and i was looking forward to this because the only image they had released was from coffee with karan kind of <laughs> the sucharita interview that <laughs> and i was like this looks damn interesting so <laughs> and you know vikram aditya motwani directing is his all his movies are of different genres yeah. and like that's what i love about him and all all of them are good so i'm really looking forward especially have you guys seen the trailer event on youtube it's like a, a one hour event No. So basically, they are playing themselves. <laughs> you have to watch it. So Anurag Kashyap and Anil Kapoor are giving interviews while launching launching the trailer, and there are three versions of the trailer by the way. Oh wow! Okay. So one trailer. So <laughs> I'll tell you how the event goes. Basically, uh, वो trailer play करते हैं और Anil Kapoor says this is not the trailer जो हमने decide किया था. So Anil Kapoor एक अपना trailer play करवाता है जिसमें Anil Kapoor is the hero. <laughs> uh-huh. Anurag Kashyap comes to him. Anurag Kashyap comes to him and says, "Sir, please, मेरे साथ एक फिल्म कर लो." And Anil Kapoor says, "You are Sasta Tarantino of India." <laughs> <laughs> so, in a similar way, Anurag Kashyap has another trailer where Anurag Kashyap is the hero. Anil Kapoor comes and says, "Sir, क्यों ना एक साथ में एक मूवी करते हैं?" And Anurag Kashyap says, "मुझे पता है मैं कौन हूँ? मैं इंडिया का टैरेंटीनो हूँ. मेरे साथ मूवी करूँ मैं." <laughs> they even made three trailer cuts so i loved the marketing by netflix and during the whole event they were in their characters like talking rude to each other uh-huh. and anil kapoor even anil kapoor even threw water on anurag kashyap's face in the trailer event right that's nice. in the trailer too uh, i think uh, i saw uh, or what, yeah, yeah he says ki yeah, he says ki trailer mein tune feka na mere upar and i really love so i'm looking forward to all the interviews they're going to give because i feel like they're going to be in characters <laughs> even for the promotion mm, yeah. so uh, this whole meta thing i'm loving because 
you rarely get to see a meta movie in bollywood like it's very rare yeah. there are one or two dialogues here and there like tere baap ne shole likhi and all <laughs> but not a full movie Yeah 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 like i'm really looking forward to the kapil sharma show when these two show up <laughs> <laughs> so said no one ever but <laughs> anyway amrita what did you think will this make you watch something new at least <laughs> i think so maybe uh, <laughs> <laughs> really not even this <laughs> we'll see um <laughs> netflix to amrita aur kya laun main tere tere liye aur kya laun <laughs> कब आएगी तू मेरे प्लेटफॉर्म पे शाहरुख की पिक्चर बना रहे हैं मैं शो गाइस इट्स आल्सो रिलीजिंग ऑन द सेम डे एज कुली नंबर 1 बाय द सो यू यू नो व्हाट टू आई मीन इफ यू हैव द सब्सक्रिप्शन यू कैन वॉच टू मूवीज इन अ डे और थ्री मूवीज इन अ डे इट डजंट मैटर हम कहां जा रहे हैं और सब घर पे बैठे हैं आई विल वॉच बोथ या इट्स इट्स डिफरेंट लाइक फ्रॉम two movies releasing the same day on a cinema versus on a an ott platform if you yeah yeah have the subscription you can watch all of them in one weekend right yeah yeah, yeah that's what amrita is going to be doing right amrita <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah i'll watch all of them <laughs> have, you, have you have you even watched fabulous lives of bollywood wives i watched uh, oh. the first episode and then i watched the last episode <laughs> Well done Amrita you've made <laughs> the right <laughs> life choice you know <laughs> teach me your like ways Amrita <laughs> Hey I I I watched one episode too I, I watched all the episodes I uh, I fulfilled my I full I I fulfilled my promise huh? I watched one episode of Fabulous style too Oh by the way I wanted to actually say this <laughs> Last week I felt I was quite mean towards Ananya Pandey when we were doing the Khali Peeli uh-huh. review right uh-huh. and uh, i mean you guys all know this right and then there Did was bhavna pandey reach out to you <laughs> no 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 uh, i uh, they, because there were a few jokes that i made and then i cut them out right and we had this discussion internally right that yeah. should i cut it out so i cut out the joke then i watch fabulous live and i was like i should put those jokes back in <laughs> because i feel she not deserves those mean jokes uh, not mean enough <laughs> yeah i think i should add more i think there should be a running segment how terrible she is but uh, that's why my thoughts on fabulous lives by the way but yeah uh, um amrita are you team akshay uh, uh, anurag or are you team anil kapoor or are you team harshwan harvarsh harshpat <laughs> <laughs> yeah say that name again and ask him or team or team kuli number one um i um i actually like i enjoyed it like i uh, i really enjoy watching anil kapoor have fun like that's what i've come yeah. to realize over the years yeah. you know like when anil kapoor is having fun he's having the most fun of anybody you know he's basically vikrant from tal right yeah. he's still living that life <laughs> that's basically <laughs> yeah. but mere like, ragon mein khoon teen guna daud raha hai bro seven but also like the twitter fight was hilarious like the marketing for this film like if the marketing is you know if the film is even half as good as the marketing i think i'll really enjoy yeah. this film because uh when that twitter fight broke out everybody was like ye kya ho raha hai but like it's very entertaining like <laughs> everybody <laughs> like stopped and then cuz i had forgotten i dm'd you guys right yeah. i had forgotten there was a movie coming out i was like wait are they doing diljit i thought they were doing a spoof on kangana and diljit i thought okay this is like a joke <laughs> also also it started very organically it started by anil kapoor congratulating the team of yeah delhi crime <laughs> delhi crime yeah oh yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, welcome, oh. welcome to hollywood he said <laughs> That was the so funniest funny. thing. Like when That's he was so like, funny. "Welcome to Hollywood," and then Anurag Kashyap was like, "Where is your Oscar, sir?" Like, <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, amazing. <laughs> I I do wonder how much is scripted and how much they 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 just like doing <laughs> you know writing this stuff themselves you know they it's probably scripted most of it right but still but I feel it like only that. takes it only takes a, a a sip of whiskey for Anil Kapoor to come out with this shit you know <laughs> I no, feel, but, I feel like both Anil and Anurag Kashyap are like perfect 
for this role yeah. because they uh, you know that they're both like super bitchy and they're just controlling yeah. themselves all over the place <laughs> and then yeah, yeah. And when the marketing was like you know just do it and then they were just like ah freedom <laughs> and then yeah. everything just came out um yeah. so yeah i think if um if motwane has like a little bit of like sense and he's able to harness that energy then this film will be a classic hmm yeah. yeah and whoever wrote also the you know the back and forth they really understand the voice of these people you know like they understand anil kapoor they understand anurag kashyap because you know anurag kashyap is one of those guys you kind of love to hate right like it's he's just a, has that personality now so uh, i thought it was really really well done i'm looking forward to it so amrita if both of these are dropping at the same day kuli number 1 and ak versus ak and you have the motivation to watch one which are you watching first uh well am i watching <laughs> well, are you saying that i should i'll watch the f- the first one i watch will be the one that i'm most excited for no 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 it's just what you know what would you you know what, whatever reason I, you know okay. like i'll watch kuli number 1 first and then ak versus ak because um kuli number 1 i know will be stupid but it'll probably yeah. it, it'll probably make me laugh and i'll have like the songs to watch and then yeah, like yeah, yeah. ak versus ak yeah. will be like uh like you know like i'll have to think a little bit maybe how uh, how good are those kuli number 1 songs though i have to say <laughs> yeah to like i did not expect it like i did not expect that varun would be able to launch a dance channel a dance challenge in a, a pandemic like <laughs> i'm seeing everybody do bhabhi khadi hai teri bhabhi khadi hai like it's like wow, how does he do that man like he's yeah. like really good at this uh, he's like a full on sell out like nobody else's business it's amazing it's a skill man be that besharam it's amazing yeah. I um, I was and you and you need those sorry, go ahead. need those actors like in this sorry sorry think in this generation you don't have those actors right like, yes who yeah do this. <laughs> it's only Varun. <laughs> आसिम कब से उसके गुनगुन गाए जा रहा है आई नो आई लाइक आई न्यू फ्रॉम द स्टार्ट राइट लाइक आई सॉ इम इन आई सॉ इम लाइक व्हेन वी वर डूइंग द प्रेस हीरो No no even before I met him for a uh, student of the year right okay. and I was talking to all these I was talking to Karan I was talking to um Alia and uh, they were all there and mujhe pata tha ye wala sabse chichora like that I knew it from the start <laughs> and he was trying to be very careful and like not you know but you could just see it ke is bande mein kuch hai so uh, I, i think uh, you also told about the story when you met him for yes. i think dilwale or something dilwale, and, and, yeah. and then you told him on his face that you liked mehtera hero more than badlapur and his eyes lit up yes 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 <laughs> he, he was <laughs> <laughs> he was so happy oh, yeah like basically when i came in he gave me a hug and i've never had like a hug from a star like that's never happened it was really awkward and weird but hey chalo like that's just the kind of guy he seems to be so it's like he's, he's he, like i i knew what he's the zone he's in and i'm so happy he's in this so and like husne hai suhana works for me like i don't know about you guys like so joy what did you think about <laughs> yes, the so joy, the so joy, <laughs> so joy wrote an entire thesis on twitter about <laughs> husne hai suhana he was like ye did tha, he, i miss that but aur ye mukha wahan se aur iske <laughs> antre mein ye wala jo dhun hai wo yahan se <laughs> <laughs> itna kuch nahi likha i just wrote that <laughs> the, the 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 audio is obviously remixed uh, but they didn't drop the original singer so abhijit is still singing and chandra yeah. dikshit is singing uh, rather than neha kakkar and tony kakkar singing you know the remix with bacha rap and no rap uh, I, i'm so so glad that they sort of in a way you know captured the soul of husna suhana and it's still alive in our memories but the og is still og but uh, the the visual of the new husne suhana almost reminds me of tum to dhoke bazo where um, govinda is dancing with karishma and tabu in two different oh, hotel yeah. rooms it's mm-hmm. kind of like that rather than in the dream sequence dance party where chichi and lolo are dancing crazy with the ganesh acharya mitra mandali <laughs> you know <laughs> and and also i don't I, we haven't seen it yet but 
I don't uh, I, I do miss the Lolo transition uh, that we talked about us in the last episode where the other girl starts dancing and then yeah. it switches to Lolo. Uh, I've I've watched this the the video of the original Husne Suhana has been remastered in 4K and it's on the Tips channel and that transition is mad. I've watched yeah. that so many times. It's amazingly <laughs> well done. And uh, yeah, I, I miss the, uh, like watching the new Husna Suana makes me miss the old one much more. And um, and people, were, the, the, there was a Sara Ali Khan fan club that kind of started ditching me on that Twitter thread uh, saying Sara Ali Khan has better um, energy and better uh, <laughs> nakras and adas than Lolo in the original. And I'm like, what are you smoking? <laughs> Sara could enough. never. Sara could enough. never. Yeah. I mean, I like um, Sara, but like Okad me, like you know. Uh, uh, exactly. Yeah, I like Sara too, but ye thoda zada ho gaya, you know. Like <laughs> and uh, I even saw this interview by uh, the choreographer of the original song, Ganesh Acharya, uh-huh. and he said that basically for this song, uh, Karishma Kapoor's mom said that if you do this song, you will be a star. So Karishma Kapoor. You know, did all the dance without knee pads and all. And oh, yeah. Se khun, khun nikle lag gaya tha. So, all these stories with that dance step. There's one dance step that Govinda could pull off easily. But Karishma had to do a lot of practice. Like jumping on the knees and coming back. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, and and if you watch the original one, there are a lot of long takes. And Karishma Kapoor recently tweeted with that image of her and uh, Govinda on the sets of Husne Suwana. And she was 19 then. Wow. Hmm. wow insane yeah and uh it, it, it is uh i also like that they um <laughs> that they copied the poofy curly hair for hmm. Ali khan because that's what charisma is <laughs> so there's like a little not i do feel it's very much shot like uh uchi hair building from jodwa 2 yeah the way too. you know yeah. no david dhawan is like such a true blue like died in the wool thakki like, oh, yeah. <laughs> like the entire song is like he's not just exploiting sarah but he's like exploiting his son also like it's like equal opportunity exploitation and also like yeah. every single camera angle is either like up her skirt or like down her decolletage like <laughs> yeah. every single camera shot it's amazing but I gotta say that I did not expect to the original song, you know, the Teri Babi Kadi had to be such a banger. Like, oh yeah, that was a surprise. Like, yeah. I I really enjoyed <laughs> that. Like, um, the uh, like I don't really like the original Cooley number one title track, which is this one is trying to emulate because yeah. he's the Cooley and he's dancing in the whatever the train station and stuff. But I really enjoyed this one, yeah. and Varun really sells it, you know. <laughs> I, I've noticed, you know, like, you know, Sal- when Shah Rukh is running, you know, it's amazing. When, mm-hmm. you know, Salman takes his shirt off, you know, it's amazing. When, uh, you know, uh, Amir's pants are really high, you know, it's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> it's when Varun is on some mode of transportation, a train, a bus, a car, that's going to be amazing. So, you know, like, <laughs> Mehti Hero, he had the, the song the where he has the, the trumpet, yeah. Yeah, he had that and on the bus he was standing and now he's on the train. He he knows how to sell it, man. He's like uh, it's like it's funny because I was watching I, I was watching these songs and then I was watching Barfi, which <laughs> I know I've been like lately really team Jagga Jasus, but going back to Barfi, I was like, man, Barfi is so good. And I was like I I could remember why I like Varun and Ranbir so much more than anybody else contemporary out there because they they really can they understand what they're good at and they're like they're opposite sides of the spectrum you know like yeah. Varun is the anti Ranbir <laughs> and Ranbir is the anti Varun but they are so good man like both of these guys like I don't feel that kind of star power you know what Pulkit was saying that 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 thing that you know old stars had and the new boys don't have and i think these two have something and i just find it amazing to see them on screen i cannot wait for more um i know i left out ranveer out of the equation but there's a reason for that right Uh, (laughs) because (laughs) ranveer irl lives the varun life you know but on screen he's yeah that's true nah. 
guys. Yeah, he's a, like there was this a lot of like your oh, ten years of Ranveer, and I was like, man, all of these mo- movies are boring, man. I don't want to watch any of them. Like, <laughs> but you didn't. But you didn't like Simba, yeah? No, I, I didn't like Simba at all. Yeah, I, I mean that's probably the place to watch that movie. And, yeah. and, and he yeah. basically gets really angry and defensive about Simba, right? Like I gave in so much to bring in that energy to Simba, and nobody, everybody disses that movie. I'm like deservingly so. Yeah, yeah. No, and uh, it's, it's he's just not fun on screen, man. I don't look forward to it. He's not fun. Like, I know, I mean, he's hot clearly and all that kind of shit, but it all feels fa- fake to me, to me. I, don't, I hope, and I really like him and I liked him from the start and I hope he just makes movies that I like again, you know. That's what I only hope because if he goes back to, you know, Ricky Bale or he goes back to, you know, uh, Band Baja Bharat, I love those movies, you know. And I've not had any movie where I felt that. I definitely don't like any of the Sanjay Leela Bansai movies and uh, i like gully boy but not necessarily him in it you know i liked everybody else and that movie i liked but yeah. he was he wasn't the one that stood out for me because like you know zoya says she makes ensemble movies and i agree with that so let's see let's see how it goes shall we uh, move on to some of the stuff we've been watching um only you watch us <laughs> I want to I want to talk quickly a bit about Durgamati just because it came out this week you know and I feel this is like social service that I talk about this movie and let people know not to watch this movie you know <laughs> That's that's the review. <laughs> yeah. So I I also have to t- say something like remember last week I said you know chupke chupke Amrita had uh, uh, you know recommended this movie. By the way, I got a lot of shit for chupke chupke <laughs> on Twitter, which is which is fine. <laughs> but uh, also. Amrita, last time we spoke about the Durgamati trailer, I felt you were quite positive about the original, <laughs> right? Am I mistaken yeah, no, in that? Yeah, the original is fine. <laughs> yeah, no, so the original is also shit. Like this <laughs> movie, <laughs> this movie is so bad. Like, and I, like when we were discussing the trailer, I was saying, yeah, Bhumi, I, I think she's slight. She doesn't fit the physicality of the storyline and this and that because I had not seen the original. So I was watching Durgamati. And I was like, wait, I don't think Bhumi is that bad in this. I think she's actually quite competent. All of the problems is with the writing and the movie and the movie making. And I went back to, because it was Prime and both versions are on there. So there's the first reveal that happens when she becomes Durgamati, right? Yeah. And mm-hmm. guys, I don't give a shit. I'm going to get into spoilers here. So if you are absolutely looking forward to watching this movie, you know, skip this part, listen to the next episode. You'll be fine. We had an hour of content. Um, so yeah, spo- with spoilers, she turns into Durga Mati, right? Yeah. And I was like, wow, this is like that big scene. Like, this is like, you know, Vidya Balan doing her, you know, her reveal. Yeah. And it looked shit. Like, like, <laughs> it, it was bad. Like, it was utter crap. So I then went back to watch the Anushka Shetty one to see, does Anushka do it better? And I was like, no, it's as bad. It's terrible. <laughs> this is shit. This is utter shit. Like, there's like, it's, it's ridiculous. So I just kind of like went back and forth to see, you know, like, oh, uh, I, I went back to the, where she's like twisting her arm and gets dragged into the, the, the room and then she's getting torn tortured and beaten by the ghost of Durgamati or Bhagmati, whatever. It's all terrible. This movie is shit. It's stupid. <laughs> it it makes us... It, it Basically, it takes the audience for granted because it's just pulling a... Uh, you know, it it's misdir- creating unnecessary misdirections to add twist at the end of the movie, which make no sense. You know, when you go to, you watch a movie like uh, The Sixth Sense, right? And okay, I understand I'm going to one of the high level <laughs> twist movies. I know I don't want to compare one to the other, but I, I'm saying, you know, you watch The Sixth Sense, there's a twist at the end and you go back and it's like, oh, that makes sense. Oh, this is why they're doing it. Here... You go back and you're like, wait a minute. So they, they were pulling the code with a 
the the dhaga and that's it they just had a dhaga and that's how they like <laughs> did all of this it makes no sense where where suddenly like she's lifting up men with one arm and like all of this shit is happening and then is like oh she was actually doing for this but actually there was a durga mati it's stupid man this this makes no sense whatsoever amrita i'm retroactively angry at you <laughs> that you kind of gave this movie a pass uh, because of anushka shetty I, Anushka Shetty is terrible in this movie. Like, it's not, okay, it's I not disagree good. with Asim. I think Asim doesn't appreciate Telugu movies. I think that is what is being revealed here. I think he has extremely high expectations of it because of like Bahubali, and he doesn't understand that it's an outlier, which is why Bahubali is Bahubali. Um, I think like. So the Bhagmati, the, uh, it's been a while since I saw it, but I remember like Anushka being like really vulnerable, but also like really scary and like really creepy in that film. Um, mm. And I remember her being like, a, like obviously the story is stupid. It's a horror story. Like it's a ghost story in a Telugu movie. Like what are you expecting? <laughs> like it's going to be shit anyway. But I remember like her being like really good in it. And I remember like, uh Jairam being really good in it uh like mm. i remember like i the whole time i kept thinking there's something wrong with him there's something wrong with him but then doubting myself because like Jairam just does such a good job of selling it and then at the end like when it all came together i was just like aha so um mm. i think it was a good film uh was it like a objectively good film no but is it a subjectively good film yes I will hear no Anushka slander. Uh, Su- Su- Sujo, you watch like ten minutes of this, right? <laughs> yeah, I-, I watched ten minutes and uh, of Durgamati, and then I switched off. And then I watched ten minutes of Bhagamati, and then I switched off. So, <laughs> <laughs> uh, because I understood where this was going, and uh, I saw that the filmmaker made. You know, like when and you have to submit assignments for two separate classes, but you write the same report. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that's what he did <laughs> with a Google no, Translate in between. Yeah, and also this setup of, you know, she's the secretary, but she's also IIS and she's also and then we're going to put her in this haunted castle and then we're going to interrogate her. I was like, why? Like, why? Why? Like, this setup makes no sense to me. Like, I, I had to go to the Wikipedia page to read. Did I? I miss something like why how is this a logical progression of things happening in the real world or in a cinematic world like it made no sense whatsoever and then i that's why also i went back to the Bhag- bhagamati bhagamati thing is like is the are the indian version just stupid or no 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 original is also as stupid this makes no sense so yeah yeah uh, you Pulkit, guys... you didn't watch any of those neither you didn't nothing no, no, no. yeah I good on you, man. good on you. So. <laughs> you you yeah <laughs> and you learnt your lesson <laughs> yeah so yeah. Uh, it was very interesting because tell us about I lakshmi ma because watching... nobody nobody of yeah <laughs> nobody of us had the guts to watch that movie so tell me what you thought of it so you know i watched fleabag the day before lakshmi <laughs> 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 and uh, i don't know how bad lakshmi is but after watching fleabag if you watch lakshmi <laughs> it really like so basically lakshmi is supposed to be a progressive film because in the end the whole last 15 minutes is progressive but 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 how would you go till there right like uske pehle tumne do ghante jo regression dikhaya hai cheeze matlab there is so you know how they get to know ki akshay kumar is possessed by a transgender basically because akshay kumar is applying haldi on his face and the whole family looks at him like he's an alien they're like ek ladka ho ke haldi kaise laga raha hai apne face pe wow and it, it, this is like a 5 minute scene with this is like a 5 minute scene with a zoom on every character in the house like kara advani is literally crying ki mera husband apne muh pe haldi kyun laga raha hai <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> like <laughs> and they're peeping through and you know they they put a trap i'll tell you so basically wo ek wo sink pe bathroom ke andar haldi rakh dete hain aur bolte hain ki dekhte hain akshay लाइक जो भी कैरेक्टर का नाम है अंदर जाके हल्दी लगाता है कि नहीं और वो खिड़की से सारा परिवार एक एक करके देख रहा है कि हल्दी लगा रहा है यू नो एंड देव मेड इट लाइक फुल ड्रामेटिक साउंड इफेक्ट 
Yeah. Wo kahan had, had laga hai? Like, is it like, <laughs> they just, just because you're saying they're crying, like, and they're watching him, where is he putting the haldi? No, just no, no, to. No. <laughs> face. Oh, shit, man. Just to clarify, just on his face. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, it was a really bad movie. And, you know, I saw some clarification, uh, not clarification. Like, it's a 2011 movie, so it hasn't aged well, like, clearly. And also, the original one, uh, the actor who played Akshay's role, was scared of ghosts. Whereas Akshay is like, Main bhoot bhoot kuch nahi hota and, all. and he's very cocky in the whole film about ghosts. And you know, like how is this movie progressive with dialogues like, if it's like this, I'll wear a mask if I can see a ghost. So yeah, quite bad movie. And like, I was like, I really wasted time even after all the reviews I saw. Yeah. Kabi karna padta hai. Hashtag content, na? Uh, That's what we did this week with Mene Pyar Kyu Kiya. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we bled for you guys. We bled for you guys. Um, I just want to say, like, after, you know, after you heard what Lakshmi is like, now you know that Bhagmati is not that bad. <laughs> you, you have to admit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like also like it's like also they had such a big budget for uh, Durga Mati compared to Bhagamati like uh, yeah. it, it it's 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 like it's it's shocking how much money more money they spent on it yeah. and uh, to make this kind of product it's it's quite terrible like it's also like like aren't you like just kind of tired of Purani Haveli ghost stories like and also just the audacity to bring this out the year Bulbul came out you know, like, it's insane yeah. to me. Like, Bulbul Vul- Vul- was so good with such a tiny, smaller yeah. budget and unknown actors, but writing and, like, understanding of the themes. And But then you do this. Um, it's like, th- even in the movie, they have all of these o- old, um, old art, like, uh, paintings and, like, uh, posters and, like, she's watching it and she's, like, thinking about things. She's, like, doing her Kaiser Soze. And uh, and all the art looks new. It doesn't look like old art at all. Like yeah. it's just like like such stupid things, man. It's so stupid. Like the reveal is so stupid. <sighs> <laughs> Clearly tired. I'm thug, yeah, I'm thug, yeah. So like the more I thought about it, I was like, what did I do? What did I? Why did I do it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> let's let's wrap it up, guys, and then uh, next episode we can talk about many PR. Um Pulkit man, where can people find you online? Yeah, they can find me on Instagram at Pulkit Kocher at the red Pulkit Kocher and on Twitter at Kocher Pulkit. Awesome, Amrita. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at Amrita IQ and also on my YouTube channel Amrita by the Book. So Joy, I'm on Twitter and Instagram at 93k and you can also follow the Khandan Podcast Instagram at Khandan Podcast. Yes, yes, do that. And also follow us on YouTube. I got like a report from YouTube. We've got like 40,000 people listen to us, like minutes of listening, which is insane. I didn't even know people would do that on YouTube. So uh, that's really cool. Give us a follow there. You can also leave a comment. Um, I, I know that's nothing compared to the number Pulkit is, get, Pulkit is getting, but I'm very happy with it. <laughs> it was never the plan to get even on YouTube. So it's quite cool. And uh, drop us an email at upodcasting at gmail.com. Leave us a review. Leave us a review as a Christmas gift you know like I think that that's something you could do right leave us a review I think that's a cool one uh, follow me at Asim Bernie and I might also be appearing on our friends Bollywood is for lovers to talk about Kuli number two or okay, Kuli number one Kuli number um, two <laughs> <laughs> better name no that, wouldn't that be a better name for the movie yeah, uh, yeah. and uh, it might I mean, happen Govinda would, would be happy Govinda would be so happy if it was yeah. Kuli number two anyway yeah well, thanks for listening. Hey.